Good morning guys, um, welcome back to another video. Uh, I just woke up right now actually and I just washed my face with cold water and brushed my teeth. So, um, the purpose of this video basically, like, it's been a rough couple of weeks for me. It actually even feels like it's been a, yeah, even, even in February, and then also into March, it's just been really hectic. I've just been really, really busy and haven't even had time like for myself. It's been hard and I feel like a lot of us like experience that, like especially if you're a student or you're working and you feel that way, like you're just always busy and you feel like life is just moving, but you don't know where time has gone you don't know what you've you, you just don't know like you haven't been existing you feel like you haven't been existing so that's literally been me and i just wanted to show you guys like um this is a public holiday by the way it's the um 21st of march so it's human rights day so it's a public holiday so that's also another thing to note that of course this is not this doesn't happen like my mornings don't look like this every single day it's because it's a public holiday like and i just thought to myself let me do something that will make me feel better in the morning or whenever because it's been a minute since i've done something that you know like makes me feel like good and yeah <laughs> and you really gotta take care of yourself like no one will take care of yourself better than you better than you so um yeah i'm gonna try and implement this of course on an everyday basis but of course like life happens you know as i said like sometimes you're at school sometimes you're working sometimes life just gets too much but whenever you do get time this is just to emphasize that whenever you do get time do something for yourself do something good for you do something that will make you feel good and better i know it's sometimes hard even just getting out of bed like it was definitely hard like i just wanted to continue on sleeping because i felt like i'm just tired i just need a break but i was like let me do something to make myself feel good because if i stayed longer in bed then i was really just gonna be like unproductive and feel even more bad so i didn't want this holiday to go too much you know to waste i still want to do something that's good of course rest is still important <laughs> so yeah so i'm just gonna make my bed right now so what's on the agenda basically let me tell you guys so i'm going to make my bed right now which i feel like is very important to kind of set your day like i know everyone always says it but making your your bed does kind of force you to be productive in a way because you already have something set in your mind that okay i've made my bed that means that i'm going to be doing something out of my bed you get what i'm trying to say so i'm going to make my bed and then i'm going to do some yoga you can exercise as well i did think of that but i was like you know what i just need something to calm down i need something to kind of just like stretch my body stretch all the tight areas my back my shoulders my head that's what i really need right now so i'm going to do some morning yoga and then after that i'm going to journal um and just yeah i haven't journaled in a minute and i used to journal a lot um but i haven't so i'm going to journal in my book and i'm just gonna answer a couple of questions and we'll do that together then we'll have breakfast and then we'll pray i don't usually feel myself praying i don't like doing that but i will do that as well as if you guys do of course believe in god pray and yeah be very intentional in your prayers so yeah, that's basically what i'm going to be doing i actually didn't even know that i was gonna film today but i was like let me just film and show you guys ways to romanticize your mornings ways to make yourself feel good and stuff like that so
Okay guys, so I just um, finished my yoga session, which was really good. I actually feel so much better. I feel more awake, I feel more alive. And my body feels actually much better because my back, usually when I'm stressed like that gets stored in my back and my shoulders a lot. Of course, I wish I could go to a spa, but yoga sessions will do for now. And I am having my coffee and um, some banana bread. So I'm going to journal right now and I basically wrote my questions or statements down like this. I got these by the way on Pinterest, but um, we'll go through them together. If you guys also want to journal with me, you can. And yeah, so it's about seven questions, eight questions, eight questions. And um, I'm going to basically answer them right now. So you can also find these on Pinterest, guys. Please do not sleep on Pinterest. Pinterest is definitely the one. So while I have my breakfast, I'm going to be writing it down. Um, so I'm going to use a black pen since I wrote everything, all the questions in pink because pink is my favorite color. So the first question is, how am I feeling recently? Then the next question is, what am I most excited about? Then the next question is, what am I focused on recently? Three things I am proud of. What has given you energy? What has been draining your energy? Things that you are grateful for. And then the last thing is to write down a positive affirmation. Now, if you do have a positive affirmation like in your head, you can write it down. I'm going to check on Pinterest because I love affirmations from Pinterest. So yeah, plus also another thing is like you can search the theme of the positive affirmation on pinterest like you can type down like positive affirmation for mental health positive affirmation for confidence positive affirmation to feel good about yourself stuff like that and you'll find a lot of affirmations so i'm going to search um positive affirmations for mental health because i believe that um your mental health matters more than anything you can't do anything if well to your best that is if your mental health is suffering so it needs to start here so that's what i'm gonna do okay so the positive affirmation that i found and i absolutely loved is today i accept and let go of the things that i cannot control and focus on the and focus my energy on the things that i can I think that this really does speak to me because I think if you're a person that overthinks and has a lot of anxiety, you think a lot about everything and crazy. Like your mind is constantly like, it's it's crazy. Like if someone was actually open their mind and see, like, of course you wouldn't be able to see, but it's like insane. Like you constantly thinking about everything, overthinking and it's it's insane and you you think about things that you can't even control half the time you're just like i actually can't control this so yeah so i really do love this i really feel like it does speak to me so yeah that's basically my affirmation for today by the way i hope you guys really did enjoy this morning um routine that i'm, I'm gonna try and implement of course as i said that every single day is different it's not gonna be the same every single day, like life happens. And I wanted just to show you guys that, you know what? Not everything is always as it seems like, as you see like from like influencers and there's no show you to like influencers, of course, like it's their job as well. But um, like for people who are students, who are always busy and tired, people who are working and have multiple jobs or are doing many things at once, like, Take some time out for yourself. Take one day and tell yourself that this day, I'm dedicating it to do this for myself. Take yourself out. Do something like journaling. In fact, if you, if you can, I would recommend that you journal maybe somewhere other than 
a, like your room or your house maybe go out to you know a safe park go somewhere coffee shop and journal there do some yoga as well outside don't be too confined in a space that you know you're always like living in i know i could have done that and i wish i could i wish i had the means but um this is what i could do and i still do feel good you know what i'm trying to say so yeah that was just to show you guys that um you can um as much as it's hard but don't always focus on those things because at the end of the day no one really cares about your mental health like the people at school your boss at work they don't really care about you like your mental health truly you're the only person who knows what you're really going through so do whatever it is that you need to do to try and get yourself in the right frame mentally and health wise in general so yeah now i'm going to start with my work for today um i feel good that you know i can do this it literally took me an hour so yeah I, I feel really good about this so and now i feel even much better to like study because i did something that bettered my mental health and i'd highly recommend it and if you guys do try this way out this method out please tell me in the comments how did it work for you and if you do have any suggestions as well as what i can do you can leave them down in the comments below okay let's get to studying only been a few hours when it felt like days Only been days but it felt like months When we gone for a year only go like once Life move fast when you do what you want At this time doing what I want Hope you know what you want Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I don't wanna know but she too down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract them, no baby In the meantime In the meantime It's like Odell Killers don't tell Shut down my mom cause the New York the shell Now my bitch is Chanel Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get a little baby In the meantime It's a meantime It's a meantime It's a meantime When it been a few hours when it's been like this only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast, and you know what you want. 